I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how to use Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. This first video that I'm going to share with you guys is how to record yourself, whether you're in a class or whether you're recording yourself for the purpose of having students watch it later. So of course, the first thing you want to do is be in Blackboard, right? In the Blackboard website. Then you're going to select the course where you want to create this recording for. So I'm going to go ahead and select this course. And it brings me to my home page. This is what you guys are normally used to seeing. If you guys are typically used to working with the control panel, um, you can scroll down to the bottom and under course tools, under course tools, you will find Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Now we can go ahead and select this and this is what we'll see. Of course, we want to go ahead and create some sessions before we get started so that we are able to start those recordings. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on create session. So when I select create session, I can give it a new name. So I can say internship meeting. And I can go ahead and select the start date and the time. Now there's also a guest access or a dial up, even a link that you guys can share with guest speakers, for instance. So if you want to have someone that comes in um, as a guest speaker and they're not part of the class, you can share this link with them and they're going to have access to your class. Now you can also give them a role like participant, a presenter, so they'll have access to all of the files, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, or a moderator. This gives them access to whether they want to end a session or not. Um, and of course you have event details, start date again, your time, um, and the end, right? The end date as well as the time. Now, something that I found very useful for myself is to select repeat session, um, repeat the session weekly. If I'm going to be meeting with my students online every week, and if there are six weeks left, you can put end after six occurrences and it will only create those six meetings that you need. So we can go ahead and select save. And we can see that we have those meetings, right? If we click this little arrow tab down here, we have all of these meetings set up. Now, you'll notice that two of them say in progress, this one here at the top and this one here at the bottom. You want to make sure that you tell your students to select the one with the current date. So it would be the second one, this one here at the bottom. The reason why is because although this one says in pro progress, you can see it says from 318 through 422. So this is basically um, just a room where everyone can come in, but it's not the meeting room for that particular day and time. So you want to go ahead and click on that meeting room for the particular date and time. But if you happen to not be meeting for this day, then you can select that recurring internship. So let's say I'm a professor, I am just want to record myself because I want to teach my students how to do a design pattern. So I can go ahead and click on these three little dots and I can select join session. It's going to bring me to this screen, which of course is the Blackboard Collaborate classroom. Now there are a few options in this classroom. The first is to have a, it has a little microphone here at the bottom and it's so that you can share your audio. Now your students can hear you. The second is a little camera and it's that you now your students can see you. So now I can share the video. So you guys should be able to see me. Now, for those questions in regards to how to record yourself, and we're not going to talk about any other features in this video, please watch the other ones. Um, what you would do is that you would come to these three little tabs on the left hand side where it says open session menu. You would select start recording. All right, here we go. We're recording. It's already being recorded. And very important, everyone, when you are finished recording, you want to come back to that little menu on the left-hand side and select Stop Recording. Now, if you do not select Stop Recording, your video will not save. In other words, all this time will have been wasted because what you've been doing has not been saved in the classroom. And if you're in class and you've been in class for an hour and a half, the students will not be able to go back and review the class because there will be no recordings available. So one more time, you're going to want to open the session, right? The little menu here, click on start recording. I'm now recording. And when I am done, hi everyone, and I finish, I want to make sure to go back and select stop recording, okay? 
This will allow me to then leave the session and um, make sure that my recording is actually where it's supposed to be. So if I leave the session, right, and you can either rate it as excellent and submit, or you can skip this, it's up to you. Submit and exit. When I exit my session, right, and I can close out the tab, if I go to my little menu bar here, okay, I can go to recordings. And at the moment, they're not here because they're still being um, basically transferred or uploaded into the recording, the recording area. So just give them a few minutes and you will find them here. It happens very quickly, very quickly. Now, just a quick tip for making access for the students and yourselves a bit easier. I would select the plus side here on the left-hand menu. I would add a tool link. In my case, I would name it online meeting or online meetings. And again, you have to scroll down the list of type and select Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. I'll make it available to all the users and I'll click submit. Now, I'll move it up to the top because this is important. So now my students can go ahead and just simply click online meetings. I can do that myself as well and I can get to the page much easier. And let's see if any of those recordings are available now. So again, we'll go here and see how quickly the recording is already available. So there are many ways to do this, but it's very easy to use Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Um, I will continue to add other videos about how to use a chat room, how to raise hands, how to share videos, how to share your screen. But for the meantime, you can already know how to record yourself if you need to do so.